Hey y'all, today Aunt Lou is in the kitchen and she's gonna show us how to make Harvest Pecan Sweet Potatoes in our casserole crock. All while having a whole lot of fun. In three, two, one. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy. And Aunt Lou. And today, Aunt Lou is going to show us how to make Harvest Pecan Sweet Potatoes. Mm -hmm. I solemnly do swear that this is one of the best recipes on the blog. I look forward to the holidays. One, to see my loved ones. And two... Me especially. To, yeah, because she brings this, <laughs> this wonderful, wonderful dish. Harvest Pecan Sweet Potatoes mm -hmm. every Thanksgiving. Uh, do you bring it Christmas too, or? Yeah, I yeah. don't think I'm allowed at our gatherings without it. Yeah, uh, we make her go back home and cook it if she doesn't. <laughs> it is one of the best things ever. If y'all like sweet potatoes, if y'all like sweet things, <laughs> then you're absolutely gonna love this. This is one of my favorite -ish dishes ever. I am so happy that she's here to show it today. Lou! You're happy I'm here? Oh, I'm so happy, because I can eat this later. <laughs> what is in it? Okay. We have, now there's two different recipes that I've used before, and this is the quick and easy one. This is your shortcut one, this is your, you don't have to peel your potatoes and cut them up. I like shortcut. And so, um, if you're in a crunch, this is definitely the one you want to use. Um, this is just two cans, 29 ounce cans mm -hmm. of um, sweet potatoes drained. And so just now, our yams. At our, our little store, we couldn't find just sweet potatoes and something, but yams. Yams? are sweet potatoes that are in a syrup. Mm -hmm. and So I we mean, just drain that off. Yeah, just drain it off and you got sweet potatoes. I mean, yams, sweet potatoes. Who is someone who doesn't care? I yam. <laughs> but go ahead and tell the rest so of So Mikey's gonna mash up. those up while we're um, finishing up the ingredients. So then you're also gonna have- Wait, uh, you're gonna have to talk slow. I, don't have, I couldn't find a potato masher, so I'm using my, my zing thing. So then you will have you have some melted butter. You got one third cup, and then you've also got two teaspoons right here. They're going to be used in different parts of this. Um, then you have, let's see, two teaspoons of sugar, or tablespoons, excuse me, of sugar. And then, again, you have divided. Um, you have a third of a cup of packed brown sugar, and then two tablespoons of packed brown sugar. And then you have just um, one tablespoon of orange juice. Now that's something that my other recipe doesn't use, but it works great in this. I have, don't ask me, I don't know what purpose it serves, but it's good, I don't care. It gives it just a little bit of a citrus taste, I think. Uh, well, it would have to be just, holy, oh, oh. Oh. oh, in case y'all didn't know it, I am a klutz. Sorry. Next up, we have two eggs. Uh, this guy's gonna beat well, if he ever gets those mashed up, then my that's... arms are getting tired. <laughs> complain, complain, complain. Who's and... tired? I am. <laughs> <laughs> those jokes just never get old. Hey, who's tired of that joke? <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. And so then we have, let me see, half a cup of milk and a third cup of um, pecans, and we just use chopped pecans and then two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. So, what you're going to do, get your sweet potatoes all mashed up. While you're doing that, I will beat the eggs. And then you are going to, okay, so you got, oh, well, first off, before you put anything in your um, casserole crock or your um, crock pot, you're going to want to spray it down because you don't want any of this, like, sticking to. This or is a that. sugary dish. Yeah. And so you're going to take, after you spray down your crock pot, you're going to take your um, sweet potatoes and then add in your third cup melted butter. I'll slide this to the side. Yep. And then your sugar. And then your, let's see, was that third of a cup? Yep. Mm -hmm. Third of a cup of brown sugar. Orange juice. I'm afraid that's going to like fall or something. Beaten eggs. And then your milk. So you're going to take all of that and you're going to mix it up. Um, I don't know, mix and chop might work for this. At least to get it started. Just to get it started, then you got a spatula to finish yeah. and wipe it out. And, and while, then while she's doing yeah. that, I will get rid of 
that cup, and then all of this goes together. This is your pecan, I believe, right? This all goes together in the same Those thing? Those are pecans, yes. Yay! Good job, Mikey! <laughs> I'm not just nuts! <laughs> this all goes in the same bowl, right? Yes, in a separate yourself. bowl, that's right. Here are your third cup of pecans, your two tablespoons of packed brown sugar, your two tablespoons of flour, all-purpose flour, and then your two teaspoons of melted butter. Not that much, but you don't need much. Mm -mm. Now I will say, oh so my we're, goodness. We're totally related. <laughs> we will leave a link down below to these Pyrex glass uh, They glass can bowls. withstand us. Yes, and if they can withstand us, they can withstand just about anything. <laughs> um, one thing I do want to say about this mm -hmm. is that um, I like that it has the melted butter in it because if you guys have read any of my posts where I've had to cut in softened butter, I stink at it. I, I am not good at it. I don't like to do it. I always feel like I am a big fat failure whenever it comes to that just because I I just can't cut butter. Like You're not a cutter you're not a butter cutter? I'm not a butter cutter. My name is Sarah James and I am not a butter cutter. And some people like are really good. I even got one of those little fancy butter cutters. And it helps, but it's, it still is just not the same. But anyway, so this way, you don't have to worry about it. Um, it's you don't have to be melted. a butter cutter. Yeah. You're going to be a butter miller. And so... It's better. Uh, um, so now we're going to take this, and we're just going to plop it in. It you did smells turn that one so on. good. Mm, this is just yummy stuff. Oh, my goodness. I am very much looking forward to the taste test on this because I know how good it is. Right. Well, and Mikey has, um, Mikey's always, like, ever, well, I started bringing this probably about eight years ago, mm -hmm. I think. And he raved and raved because this was one of the first things that I ever really made because I am I, the girl who made cookies that would not bake when I was a kid. I, was I thought your mom made it. I remember, I remember oh, thinking, yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's really good. And, um, and then your mom's like, well, talk to Lou. She's the one that made it. And I'm very, very, very proud of Aunt Lou and <laughs> very happy to see her at the holidays. Yeah. Always was before, of course, but right, right, now it's like an right. extra sweet treat. Kind of like seeing me. <laughs> I was thinking the same about myself. <laughs> <laughs> now what do we do, Lou? Sprinkle it on. Are your hands clean? My hands are clean, but just to make sure that y'all feel comfortable about this. Boom! Hands are clean, and now <laughs> so he says. So you sprinkle it on like fairy magic fairy dust. Yes, magic fairy dust. This oh. is the stuff that's gonna make this pop. Sweet potatoes on their own are good. I like sweet potatoes. Of course, I like sweet potatoes with sweet stuff on them. Mm -hmm. But you put the sweet stuff on them and the sweet stuff in them. Yummy, yummy. Holy moly! This stuff is really really good. So if y'all are looking for something different for sweet potato casserole, sweet potatoes in any way, and you're wondering what's the best way to eat them, this, this is it for sure. Yeah. Well, and my Michael, he does not like sweet potatoes at all, but he loves this. This will change the hearts and minds of anybody <laughs> who is anti-sweet potato. All right, so now we put a lid on it, I'm sure. And make sure it's plugged in. And we'll cook it on high, high. for three to four hours. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, we will show you just how happy this dish makes me. <laughs> In three, two, one. Now three hours has gone by mm -hmm. and our harvest taters should be good. Mm. Oh my goodness. That, that looks, looks really good. Steamy. Oh, it's been a long time. Well, it's been mm. almost a year since I've made this. Maybe if I... Push that up like y'all can smell it. Smell it? Oh, uh, it's it smells sweet. Yummy. And yummy. it really is. I mean you got the yams have got some syrup in them, which makes them sweet. And then you've also got that brown sugar, and then you got that white sugar. Mm -hmm. oh, this, you can just smell it all. I mean, yeah, I mean you could call this a side dish, but everybody knows it's dessert. <laughs> and you could top this with marshmallows if you want to. The one thing that we're gonna do with all that sugary goodness that we put on top, I got a broiler going. I'm gonna take this. You could do it just like it is. You could have it without messing with it oh, yeah. anymore. Be careful. With but open. if you want to make it what we call brulee, nah. I'm going to take that underneath the boiler. 
we're not going to walk away. We're going to stay right here. We're not going to go in the other room and watch this, the uh, Thanksgiving football game or mm -mm. My, my case cartoons. Or <laughs> we're not going to go outside and or throw the, the football we around. Watch, we watch the Thanksgiving day. Yeah, bring the TV into the kitchen or wherever your slow cooker is. You could always take your slow cooker into the other room, but you really but, can't but take wait, your oven. I was going to yeah. say they're in the oven now. Those so are hard to work. move. So we're just going to wait right here. We're going to watch. Yeah. It's already sizzling. Mm -hmm. When I'm at home, I call it the pop and watch. I pop a squat and I watch. And that's what we're doing. <laughs> and so, because it seriously can take anywhere from 30 seconds to, to two minutes. To two minutes. And yeah. All you're doing is crisping up that sugar, mm -hmm. get a little, little crust on top, and it's not going to take long. You got to keep an eye on it. And I got my eyes on it. And frankly, I'm just going to stand here and. Smell, smell it. <laughs> it smells so good. But I think that's long enough. So yeah, I'm going to take it out. It. No, don't want to burn my sweet tater casserole here. Pour oh, yourself. Pour myself. Yourself. Yeah, got it. That is a very hot oven. And that's all it did was it crisp that up on top a little bit. Mm. Kind of burn on that sugar just a hair. And now, can't make it officially good and taste, until we've taste tested it. So I'll just get a little corner right there. Pop that out. Oh yummy, my yummy, yummy. goodness. And we'll give this a taste. Now. This is going to be very, very hot. Blow on it. I want some content. Oops. I'll clean that up later. Aw, oh, you will. No. I know. This is straight out of the crock pot, straight into the oven, straight into my mouth. Again, the only way I think if you could possibly make this better is maybe put marshmallows on it. Hmm. I like it as is. Because mm -hmm. you think sweet potatoes with marshmallow right. or but We've never I, given that a try though. I you would might do have it to. just like this. That is so good. Makes me think of uh, seriously, this just says Thanksgiving to me. Well, I'm giving those. Ah, no. Oh, that was hot. He just got sweet potato all over my foot and shoe. Awesome. I am sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. But I'm not sorry mm. that we made that. Let's Lou, go. good job. Whoop. Let's make that again for Thanksgiving. Always. On Christmas. Always. Come up maybe next Tuesday. Maybe <laughs> whenever. Right. That is so good. But if you like what you saw, give us a thumbs up, and we've given you a thumbs up for watching. Also, if you have not become a member of the Croc Posse, click the little subscribe button down below, and you will automatically be joined in to a wonderful, loving family of people who love to laugh mm -hmm. and sing and eat and make yummy food and just just hang out and have a good time. Also, check us out over at Patreon.com/slash/RecipesThatCroc if you want to become a financial supporter of what we are doing here, and we appreciate those who have come before you. We love you, we thank you, and if y'all keep watching, we'll keep cooking, and all will, will be, be well. well. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. I just got <laughs> <laughs> That's what oh. you get for dropping it on my foot, dude. You're short. I'm like a little Jimmy Dickens. <laughs> hey, y'all, today is... Today is... Today is Monday. Monday. Yay, Monday. <laughs> Harvest pecan sweet potatoes in our casserole... <laughs> I forgot you were saying in our casserole crock. Sorry. I was ready to go. One more time.